Okay. There's only one red door. But it is to the basement and the, there is a lot of enemies in there. Okay. Yeah, I think this loadout should be okay. I think there should be health down there, so... Hang on, I need to get the cable. Oh wait, I think I think we are close to the point at which the enemies refresh, so this must be when the liquors appear. Because essentially the use of the, the point of the cable is you use it to stop the uh, we use it to pull the shutters down, which stops the zombies getting in. But the zombies attempt to get in because of a, an event, a progress point, and they try to get in on the corridor. Um the corridor just before the liquor is. I think it is. Yeah, I think it's that. No, it's the liquor corridor, sorry. Um, and also that corridor we were just in that I came back out of. Um, those two places. But the reason the liquors appear is... Sorry, the reason the... Sorry, zombies appear in those corridors. Did I say liquors? I can't remember what I said now. Um, but yeah, zombies appear in those corridors. They come through the windows. And the point of the cable is to, to bring the shutter down. Shutters down. So the so zombies don't come into that particular corridor. But the whole reason the zombies appear is because you then have to make a choice between going through those corridors and killing loads of zombies or fighting the liquors like making a decision which is the, the best use of resources so if we check yep, no liquors I think one of my big, biggest problems is I misremember things <laughs> a lot of the time. Uh, very confidently misremember things, so I have to be careful about these sorts of things. But I think I think that is how it works. Because that would make sense, wouldn't it? Because why else would the liquors appear if not as like a barrier to your progress? And if the liquors appear but you've got two ways to go to your destination. Like, say, say we wanted to go back to the briefing room, 
Um, if that corridor before the briefing room, that corridor before the briefing room corridor, so the one with the, the door to the records room in, if that isn't full of zombies and the upstairs route is the the upstairs of the, the main hall has liquors in it, you're obviously going to go downstairs, aren't you? So it makes sense that they'd add enemies there at the same time they introduce the liquors. So I think the trigger might be getting the key from downstairs. Yeah, the club key. Possibly. So I am just going to kill these dogs. Dogs are a pain if not dealt with. Oh god. Okay, that ended a, a lot better than I expected. All things considered. Or oh, maybe it's activating the power, possibly. I don't know. We'll find out. I think there's some supplies in here, but that's it. Terry, give me a hand. I think we'll check down here first if we can. I always forget this bit for some reason. Oh yeah, this is how we get the club key, isn't it? Because we go in here and come out and uh, Sherry appears and then goes over the fence for us. Goes over the wire, as they say.
God, I really should organise that off screen, shouldn't I? Or maybe on screen, just to help everybody get their kinks. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No, I won't. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? Oh, God. What is that with her voice in this scene? Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Wait, Sherry. Don't go alone. Sherry! Sherry! This whole sequence, or both the, the sidekick sequences in RE2, seemed, or seemed very clustering tacked on, which is a shame because when you read about the original intention, um, oh. okay, literally have no defense here, like, stop, stop attacking me. But, like, what's the point of this? Like, Sherry can't. Do anything to stop them, like <laughs> all I can do is run. But yeah, considering like the the original intent was you'd have two sidekicks, and I don't think there's any intention for you to play as them? Can't. Not sure on that. I don't think you could play as them, but they did tag along. So, sort of this in comparison is kind of weak, or is very weak. I mean, literally, all we do is get the key and Claire, maybe the the ammo. Sherry, if you bother you okay? to go to Did the end of the map. Yes, I'm okay. So, what but is the point of this sequence? <laughs> but I did find something else for you here. Here's another. Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Claire! I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore! But don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take care of myself! 
wait. Sherry, come back. Sherry! Sherry! I was debating whether to drop off the spare arrows. It is kind of annoying that its capacity is only 18. Um, but then I'm expecting I'll probably use them in the next area. So maybe not that big an issue to keep them with me. Oh. Yeah, okay, definitely using them here. Oh, okay, that's locked with a club key as well. Oh, I didn't realise. Oh dear. Okay, I'm just going to keep firing until I'm not dead. Okay. Is that all there is then? Just the it's the key card. I like that all the zombies but one gab. Or all the corpses but one gab. Wait, was she looking at something there? Do they look at things in this game? I don't think they do, do they? Oh! Uh. That's interesting. Because that I'm, I'm sure that music stopped when they killed all the zombies the last time, but then it just randomly restarted. I think that's all the items.
Is that the only thing it controls? Interesting. Oh, that was close. I will take both because I'm greedy. I like that they've got guns and then arms. Are they not the same thing? Magazine, shield. Unless you can get, or you could get, like physical arms there. At one point. Yeah, I think this is when the zombies trigger. If we go down here. Oh, okay. Maybe we have to go to the door. I'm going here first, though. So what do we think this is? Is that like a paper rack or something? Is it to me? It looks like a like a a wash line, uh, like a clothes horse, um, a paper more than a week old. Or is it supposed to be a desk? Or why would you have levels on a desk? To me, it looks like it's something you hang stuff over. But then, why would you hang? Newspapers. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Could just one there was something in the, the locker. One of the lockers. I wonder, like, he talks about the clock tower, so do they mean the clock tower from RE3, or a clock tower in this building? And then there's like a disposal yard, isn't there?
Okay, so the zombies didn't trigger. I have no idea why. So I think with the weapons, like, he, he, well, I guess each of them is good in different situations. I was going to say, like, some of them are better at different type, against different types of enemies, and each has a use in, in that respect, which I think is true of later games more, um, but I don't think it's quite as true with two, because, like, the... The Magnum is just good against everything, isn't it? And the shotgun is, I guess, better at crowns. Um, but the Magnum is still more powerful than the shotgun. You see what I mean? Um, but then, Claire's weapons crossbow what is that really good against it's not good against crowds it's not really good against individual monsters it's okay against zombies but like it's it doesn't have the pushback that like a shotgun has against like liquors or bigger monsters um i think the shotgun has pushback it, i think it does the same amount of damage with the three bolts um, but it doesn't have the pushback. So aside from using it against zombies or trying to use it against crowds of zombies, which again doesn't always work, it's not that great. The submachine gun is pretty awesome though. Again, that's not a Claire specific weapon. The grenade launcher is good though. And there are different uses for the different types of ammo for it. 